Today on Heather's Closet, it's DIYs for Halloween. I'm here with Emily, visual designer here at Rogers Gardens. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being in my closet, out of my closet. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So, if you've ever been to Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach, you know that they are known for their decor, fabulous style, incredible holiday decorations and celebrations. So, Emily has agreed to show all of us regular people how to do three DIYs for Halloween. Yes, and we have some really easy things to do and what is really great about these projects is that you can have your kids come and help as well. Well, you know what's so funny? I think I might have some children. <laughs> oh, there they are. Come on in, guys. Come on. So, Katerina and Coco are here to help us and show us that anyone can make a fabulous DIY and make your Halloween spooky. <laughs> so what are we gonna do first? So though? what we have is this really cool arrangement that is super simple to make. The nice thing is, is you can put it on your front entry, you can put it on a console, you can put it on your dining room table, anything like that, it's really simple and gives you that spooky little ambiance for your house. So what you do to start is you take any old kind of soil, just scoop it up and put on any kind of glass container. <laughs> Do you want to try? Do you want to try putting some dirt in there? You just put a healthy amount of dirt in there. Take your skull. Now these are really cool. They have kind of a Ouija board sort of print on it. Okay, how it goes. And then all you need to do is just nestle it in there as if it's been buried in the ground. So basically, we could go to our local craft store Absolutely. and pick up some kind of cool Halloween element, whether Absolutely. it's a skull or a rat. Or even a, a pumpkin. Any a kind of pumpkin. pumpkin. We could make it non-scary. Yes, okay, exactly, great. Exactly. Exactly. And next, Ooh. Take some moss. Take a big old sheet. Yeah. And we'll rip it up. <laughs> it does. Be it does careful with the get moss. a little dusty. Now is this real? Is this real moss? This is real moss. You don't need to wet it or do anything with it. It's, you can rip it up if you want to. And all you need to do is just tuck it wherever you think it needs to go. So because it's more. because it's live moss, does it have a shelf life? It does if you wet it. Um, it can get a little bit discolored, but if you wet it, it actually can get really brown, which could actually for this time of year be perfect. That works so too. So if you, so what we have too is a handy dandy little piece of driftwood. Ooh. And you can just place that in there anywhere you want. You wanna pop it in there? It is an odd little shape. That is perfect. And then if you want, you can always tuck a little bit more in. If you feel like it has like little spaces, that's perfect, Coco. You like that? I like that. Yeah, and that looks good. And then we have these really cool Talantias, which is an air plant, so it survives on air. Wait a minute. You don't have to put this in dirt? Not at all. Oh, Not at all. That is a heather-proof plant. <laughs> this I is like that. Probably one of the easiest plants to work with. Honestly, all you need to do is either dunk it in some water, uh -huh. just real quickly, maybe once a week, or you can take a mister and spray it. But really, this is just- I think I could have a green thumb. Besides an artificial <laughs> plant, this is the next best thing. That, it looks like a so spider, you doesn't do, it? Yes, oh this God. is the best thing about this. It looks creepy and crawly. It looks like a little bug. Now in the sample here, I put it in the eyeball, which you can do, or if you want to tuck it and have it climb out of any little crevice. Crafts to do with your children. Now stick it in its eyeball. Look at how cool this is. I love this. This is great to put outside your front door. You can make two of them, put one on either side of your front door. You could use it as a centerpiece. I actually think you could add candles. I was gonna say, you can add a candle to it. Which would be, would be great. Perfect. Maybe the kind that you turn on, not actually yeah. light, because there's a few flammable things in there, I think, especially if our moss goes brown. Right, but battery how, operated is safer. How fun, and you know, I love jars and containers like this, because you can reuse that. Okay. Love it, that is cool. Yeah, what do you think, you, you guys? Easy like peasy? Yeah. That perfect. was easy, right? Cool. <laughs> 
Now this next DIY is my kind of DIY. This is fancy Halloween, right? Exactly. This is more elegant, a little bit nicer, so to speak, that you can put anywhere in your house. This is a great, great piece to have. So what you can do is start with a container. This could be any kind of pot, any kind of container that you have at home or something that you see somewhere at Rogers. <laughs> So what you can do, and this is really lightweight. I was gonna say, these look like heavy mm -hmm. um, stone containers, but they're actually very light, maybe tin. Yeah. So this is the trick, and this is the treat. So what you can do is take some paper, Whoa. give you one, <laughs> and give you one, and just stuff it down in the center. That's good. It doesn't have to be too compact, but that's great. Right so that there. takes up the space in the it container. Takes up the space and it kind of elevates your tree up a little bit. Right. And then all you have to do is put your tree in. So it's already kind of nicely packed and everything. And it's a little weighty, which is nice. So it'll be really sturdy. And that's all you have to do. And it's already there. Mom. Now, that was a bad noise, I know. <laughs> we have our moss again. By but the way, moss comes in handy. Who moss knew? Moss can fill up any awkward little holes. This one looks like spaghetti. It does. And see, it's kind of a limey bright. So this is really fun. You can do any kind that you want. And all you have to do is just put it in and just have it kind of lightly on the top. You can mix and match your moss if you want to. You can do a big hands wall. Big hands wall. You know what else would be fun? To put little lights on these trees. Yeah, this is what's really great with this idea is you can put ornaments on it. You could put little lanterns with maybe tea lights in it. Oh. Battery operated is always a little bit safer. I love that. And you know, I like to reuse. I know that mm -hmm. seems counterintuitive usually to my personality because I say purge, purge, get rid of it, get rid of it. But I, when it comes to holiday decorations, I love things that we can reuse. So if you didn't want to get a container like this, you could actually use glass containers. Absolutely. You could use plastic containers that double as candy jars for your kid's birthday, mm -hmm. or actually for Halloween, yeah. to bank candy in when your guests come. I also like this kind of decoration for next to my stairs. Yes, that's perfect. And then what we did that's really easy to do and just makes the elegance just scream, we have beaded webs. And these are kind of a large full web. And so all you need to do is take it and just drape it. And you can readjust it. Sure, you wanna hang it however you like. There's really no right or wrong way of doing any of these projects, which is really nice. How's it going, Kat? Uh, it fell. It did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna put it on her head there. What do you think? Look how beautiful that is. That looks terrific, Coco. Here, let me turn it around so everyone can see it. Yeah? Okay. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. This looks fantastic. Oh, I love it. I'm taking it. <laughs> Our last DIY, I have to say, I've heard of painting pumpkins and carving pumpkins, but never stamping pumpkins. Why not? The great thing about this one is you don't have to cut into your pumpkin, which means it can last a lot longer. It means as a mom of four, a lot less mess. Less mess, yeah. exactly. And the nice thing about stamping your pumpkins is you can do this for a Halloween party. You can do this as decor. Um, you can also do this for even your Thanksgiving table. Oh. You can use these as place cards, or you can just have cute little sayings. This one says, Happy Halloween. This one says, Wicked, Boo. Just, you can have a nice little pile of pumpkins. I love that. Yeah. I love the idea of putting everyone's name on them for yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Can you imagine? By the way, you'd save a lot of money on flowers for your Thanksgiving table and just use pumpkins. How great exactly. is that? Exactly. And it's maybe so some universal. branches in the middle that we left over from Halloween. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So how do we do it? So all you need to do is just pick your pumpkin. Okay. I want this guy. And there is a stamp pad which you can get at any craft store and you can get stamps at any kind of craft store and it doesn't necessarily even have to be letters. It could be a picture of a witch or a sun or a moon, anything like that. So all you need to do is just pick out what kind of word do you want to do. Mine's gonna take a minute. I love this DIY for Halloween. Yes. 
It's cool, it's inexpensive, your kids can do it, it's fun to do together. You can get different color stamps, different pictures, different size letters, different fonts, I love it. This was so fun, I had such a good time. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, thanks for coming here. Thank you so much to Rogers Gardens. And remember, you can do this, it's super easy. Get a jar, fill it with some soil, get a, an element like, like a skull or a pumpkin or, or, a, or a rat and some driftwood. And you can really, you can't go wrong with this. Just make your own fun, spooky terrarium. And remember, you can reuse that container. Then we have our fabulous tree. I love this. Fancy Halloween. Again, reusable containers, a little bit of moss. Clearly we need to buy more moss. Some branches and some glittery webs. And then finally, my favorite, personally, is the stamped pumpkins. Easy to do, not messy, super inexpensive. What great DIYs. But guess what? Next month, we're starting Christmas. I know, I know, you hate when people start Christmas too early, but if you're like my very dear friend Natalie, you start listening to Christmas music maybe the day before Halloween. So here's a sneak peek of what Rogers Gardens has, and we're gonna come back and show you some awesome things to do for Christmas. Take a look. Guys, don't forget, become a subscriber right now. It's so easy to do, it's totally free, and you could win something fabulous. This time, it's the Toodaloo Tote Basket. Spoke to my friends over at Toodaloo. So cool. And they put together this fabulous basket. And by the way, there's tons of pouches in here. There's like Gucci looking ones with Gucci ribbon and bees and there's leopard. And you know what I love about this? And it's in a cute basket. What I love about this is, let me see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's like eight or nine. Oh, there's one with studs. There's nine. There's yeah. nine. I think there's nine pouches in here. This is so much fun. Yeah. We'll rip it up. <laughs> it does. Maybe I should do that again. <laughs> and that's all you have to do. And it's already there. Mom. That was a bad noise, I know. <laughs> Awkward pause, is that what you said? <laughs> we have our moss again. This is getting better and better and better.